Hey, I just uh, <clears throat> wanted to announce to everybody that <clears throat> after coming back from the range yesterday, taking a look at my sights, because uh, I'm not active like I used to be on a monthly or weekly basis going to the range, I did notice that uh, my groups were off the center. They were still together. And if I aimed at one area and I was real careful, I could hit down there. But uh, if I just generally shot, uh, my groups were off center. And normally I didn't go with anybody. Normally you would have somebody that would just, uh, you know, take a second opinion, would have somebody else fire your handgun or fire their gun and see if you're doing something differently. Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't. There weren't too many people at the range for one, but for two, also I there were or, were sandbags there that I went to the range and placed the weapon on the sandbags, totally secured it, so it's not going to move no matter what I'm. You know, I was real careful with it. Shot a, about a box through there, box and a half in the sandbag in different positions, different sightings, and um, it was off. So. Sites coming to you can get a one and do it yourself or something like that. But I decided to go today to a gunsmith. Actually, I'm just around the corner from, him. and I uh, just got through eating some supper. Nice chicken, a little salty. But anyway, I took it to a gunsmith and he goes, "Yeah, they're off, and one of them was damaged. I just had them replaced. I didn't get the new tactical sights or anything like that. I just got." Standard sights like that were on there, fixed sights. Actually, these are fixed. The ones that were not were on there had elevation in the back. But regardless, I got new sights on there. Looked at it, can see a nice clean look through the uh, back into the front front of the sight, which uh, it was kind of obscured in the past. Anyway, long story short, if you don't have anybody to go with you or to gauge if the gun is off, you, you know, a lot of times it's yourself. A lot of times that you're pulling the trigger. My Glocks are notorious as far as uh, being able to shoot accurately with them. If you have any issues with uh, a regular gun, you might not want a Glock because most people, even though they have a lot of experience, they tend to pull seven o'clock or to the left or one thing or another. But long, long, long and short of it is, uh, when I got them from the factory, boom, 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 dead center. So. I know I don't have an issue with that. So anyway, long and short of it was, I did have a, a professional locksmith take a look at it today. I wanted to do it today. He said no. I said, what about tomorrow? And anyway, we talked about it. And he said, let's just go ahead and do it now. Uh, he repaired them in just a short period of time. He confirmed that the sights were off and that I would be shooting over to the left a little bit. Um, it wasn't much. I was still in the kill zone but it's still not hidden where the white dot's pointing at. Anyway, long and short of it is, I just wanted to tell you, uh, one, go to a, a second or third opinion before you do anything with your sights. And two, also the loads, the rounds, the rounds themselves. Uh, like a, a Carbon you know, versus a Remington versus a uh, Hydroshock, they're gonna shoot differently. They're gonna shoot differently. So, Unless you know the differences, unless unless you just don't care, I mean, uh, get to know the round that you like to carry, you prefer to carry, if you're going to carry it, and get to know how that's sighted in and how to adjust yourself with the, uh, the sighting on that at the range. Uh, and also, it's good to fill out other ammunition and just see where they're where they're landing. Uh, but when all comes to fail, if you get a good, you know, you vice it down or you get a good uh, sandbag, you lock it in that sandbag where it's not moving, it's resting there and on a frame. I mean, if the butt of the gun and uh, underneath the barrel, uh, the slide is resting on a secure place and, and you're dead on target through the sides. Taking your time squeezing and you're still off. Something's wrong with the sights. Or possibly some other issues. Anyway, long and short of it is before you uh, decide to mess with the sights on your own, have a professional look at it. Uh, before you just go swapping out parts, have a professional look at it. I've seen uh, when I was shooting IDPA, I did that for about a year 
uh, a couple of years back. Uh, we had one guy just went crazy. He's swapping out here and swapping out there. He, he converted his handgun into a fully automatic by a, by accident. He wasn't trying. But, I mean, that's the kind of guy he was. He's always changing stuff around, always buying a new gun every other day or so. And sometimes it's you. So, again, dry fire with the, the weapon if you're able. Use the snap caps if you can. Uh, Glocks, dry fire all you want. Make sure that your, your, your uh, front of your barrel and your side area doesn't jerk when you squeeze it off. And uh, have fun. But know your weapon and know it well. Keep it well. Powder dry. Get them while you can. Anyway, I'm going to post this right now.